In today's hyper-connected world, Wi-Fi is like oxygen. It's something we rely on for almost every aspect of our daily lives, from checking emails and social media to streaming videos and conducting business transactions. We crave it everywhere, in cafes, airports, even on public transport. The convenience of being able to connect to the internet from virtually anywhere is something we've come to expect and depend on. This insatiable demand for connectivity has made public Wi-Fi networks ubiquitous. They're available in almost every public space, providing us with the ability to stay connected no matter where we are. But convenience often comes at a price, and in this case, the price is security. Public Wi-Fi networks, while incredibly useful, are also incredibly vulnerable to cyber attacks. Hackers are drawn to these public hotspots like moths to a flame. They know that these networks are often less secure than private ones, making them an ideal target for their malicious activities. Why? Because they offer a fertile hunting ground for stealing valuable data. Public Wi-Fi networks are often unencrypted, meaning that any data sent over them can be easily intercepted by anyone with the right tools. Think about it. Every time you connect to a public Wi-Fi network, you're essentially broadcasting your online activity to anyone within range who might be listening. This includes everything from the websites you visit to the passwords you enter. Your emails, passwords, credit card details all become vulnerable to interception by a skilled hacker. They can use this information to steal your identity, access your bank accounts, and commit other forms of fraud. And with the rise of sophisticated hacking tools, breaching even seemingly secure networks is easier than you might think. Hackers have access to a wide range of tools and techniques that allow them to bypass security measures and gain access to your data. While encryption protocols like WPA3 have made significant strides in improving Wi-Fi security, hackers are constantly finding new ways to circumvent these safeguards. They are always one step ahead, developing new methods to exploit vulnerabilities in the system. The cat and mouse game between security experts and cyber criminals continues to evolve, with each side constantly trying to outmaneuver the other. It's a never-ending battle with both sides continually adapting to new threats and challenges. The bottom line is this. Public Wi-Fi networks, while convenient, are inherently risky. It's important to be aware of the dangers and take steps to protect yourself when using these networks. Understanding the methods hackers use to exploit these networks is the first step in protecting yourself from becoming a victim. By being aware of the risks and taking appropriate precautions, you can enjoy the convenience of public Wi-Fi without compromising your security. WPA3, the latest iteration of Wi-Fi protected access, promised to be a fortress guarding our wireless networks. It boasts robust encryption and features designed to thwart common hacking techniques. One of its key improvements is individualized data encryption. This means that even if a hacker manages to infiltrate the network, they won't be able to decrypt the data transmitted between individual devices and the router. However, like any fortress, WPA3 has its weaknesses. Hackers are resourceful, and they've already discovered vulnerabilities that can be exploited. One method involves targeting devices with older hardware or software that doesn't fully support WPA3. These devices may revert to using WPA2, which is known to be susceptible to certain attacks. Another avenue of attack focuses on the WPA3 handshake process. This process, which occurs when a device initially connects to the network, can be intercepted and analyzed for weaknesses. By exploiting vulnerabilities in the handshake, hackers can potentially gain access to the network. While WPA3 is a significant improvement over its predecessors, it's not foolproof. Hackers are constantly probing for vulnerabilities, and it's only a matter of time before new exploits are discovered. Imagine settling into your favorite coffee shop, eager to get some work done. The aroma of freshly brewed coffee fills the air, and the soft hum of conversations creates a perfect backdrop for productivity. You open your laptop and connect to the Wi-Fi network, coffee shop underscore free underscore Wi-Fi, without a second thought. It's become second nature to us, connecting to public Wi-Fi networks wherever we go, whether it's a coffee shop, airport, or hotel. Little do you know, you've just connected to an evil twin a rogue Wi-Fi hotspot set up by a hacker to mimic a legitimate network. This deceptive practice is alarmingly common and can have serious consequences. 
Evil twin attacks are particularly insidious because they prey on our trust and desire for free internet access. We often assume that a network with a familiar name is safe, but that's not always the case. Hackers create these fake networks using readily available software and a simple Wi-Fi adapter. The tools required are inexpensive and easy to obtain, making it accessible for even amateur hackers. They then give the network a plausible name, often mimicking that of the genuine network at that location. For instance, they might name it coffee shop underscore free underscore Wi-Fi or airport underscore Wi-Fi underscore free to lure unsuspecting users. Once you connect to an evil twin, the hacker gains complete control over your internet traffic. This means they can see everything you do online, from the websites you visit to the information you enter. They can intercept your data, redirect you to malicious websites, and even inject malware onto your device. This can lead to identity theft, financial loss, and a host of other problems. What's even more concerning is that evil twin attacks are becoming increasingly sophisticated. Hackers are constantly evolving their techniques to stay ahead of security measures. In 2025, hackers are employing techniques to make their fake networks virtually indistinguishable from the real thing. They use advanced tools and equipment to enhance the authenticity of their rogue networks. They can spoof network credentials, create fake captive portals, those annoying login pages some networks use, and even mimic the signal strength of the legitimate network. This level of sophistication makes it incredibly challenging to identify a fake network. This makes it incredibly difficult for even tech-savvy users to detect an evil twin attack. The best defense is to be cautious and use secure encrypted connections whenever possible. Always verify the network name with the establishment and consider using a VPN for added security. By taking these precautions, you can protect yourself from falling victim to these deceptive and dangerous attacks. Stay vigilant and stay safe. While technical prowess is essential for any hacker, it's not always the most effective tool in their arsenal. Sometimes the easiest way to breach a network isn't through brute force or sophisticated software, but through clever manipulation of human behavior. This is where social engineering comes in, a technique that preys on human psychology rather than technological vulnerabilities. Social engineering exploits human psychology to trick individuals into revealing sensitive information or granting access to secure systems. It's a form of hacking that targets the human element, which is often the weakest link in any security chain. In the context of Wi-Fi hacking, social engineering tactics can be surprisingly effective. Hackers can use a variety of methods to deceive their targets. For instance, a hacker might pose as a technical support representative and call unsuspecting individuals claiming there's an issue with their internet connection. The hacker then guides the victim through a series of steps that unknowingly grant the hacker access to their network. This method is particularly effective because it leverages the victim's trust in authority figures and their desire to resolve the issue quickly. The victim, believing they are following legitimate instructions, ends up compromising their own security. This type of attack is known as pretexting, where the hacker creates a fabricated scenario to gain the victim's trust. Another common tactic is phishing. Hackers send out emails or text messages disguised as legitimate communications from a trusted source, such as a bank or social media platform. These messages often contain links that, when clicked, redirect the user to a fake website designed to steal their login credentials. The fake website is crafted to look identical to the legitimate one, making it difficult for the user to detect the deception. Once the user enters their information, the hacker gains access to their accounts, which can lead to financial loss, identity theft, and other serious consequences. These phishing attacks are often highly targeted, using information gathered from social media and other sources to make the messages more convincing. This technique is known as spear phishing, Social engineering attacks are successful because they exploit our natural tendency to trust others and our desire to be helpful. They take advantage of our cognitive biases and emotional responses, making it difficult to recognize the threat until it's too late. By understanding the tactics used by social engineers, individuals can be more vigilant in protecting their personal information. Awareness and education are key in defending against these types of attacks. 
Regular training and staying informed about the latest social engineering techniques can help individuals and organizations build a stronger defense against these manipulative tactics.